Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I am Dr. Ganma Soni. Here's what I bring to you all from the world of medicine. New ESC guidelines 2024 introduced elevated BP category call for more ambitious BP targets. The 2024 ESC guidelines have introduced a pivotal new elevated BP category calling for more ambitious blood pressure targets, making a significant shift in the management of hypertension and cardiovascular risk. Updated ESC guidelines on the management of elevated blood pressure and hypertension also include for the first time recommendations on the use of renal de-innervation to treat various forms of hypertension. The guidelines have been produced by an international panel of experts that include co-chairman Professor Bill McCovey of the University of Galway, Ireland and Professor Ryan Toyus of McGill University, Canada. Elevated blood pressure and hypertension are by far the most common and most important risk factor for heart attack and stroke. As many as 45% of European adults have hypertension. The new guidelines are designed to get more patients to an evidence-based blood pressure treatment targets and to increase the eligibility for blood pressure lowering medications to match the best current evidence from the clinical trial. The ESC guidelines also provide numerous pragmatic recommendations to avoid patients becoming symptomatic from overtreatment. The 2024 guidelines maintain the existing definition for hypertension as BP more than or equal to 140 by 90 mmHg. However, they introduce a category of elevated BP which is defined as a BP 120 to 139 by 70 to 89 mmHg. This new elevated BP category is introduced to facilitate consideration of more intensive blood pressure treatment targets among person at increased risk for cardiovascular disease. This new category of elevated blood pressure recognizes that people do not go from normal BP to hypertensive overnight, says Professor McCovey. It is in most cases a steady gradient of change and different subgroups of patients, for example, those at a higher risk of developing cardiovascular disease, could benefit from more intensive treatment before their BP reaches the traditional threshold of hypertension. Moreover, adds Professor Toyus, the risk associated with increased blood pressure starts at systolic blood pressure levels even below 120 mmHg. In another major change, the 2024 ESC guidelines introduce a new systolic BP treatment target range of 120 to 129 mmHg for those patients receiving BP lowering medications, with the important proviso that the new target requires the treatment is well tolerated. The 2024 ESC guidelines also provide pragmatic recommendations on a systolic BP target as low as reasonably achievable in frail and older patients and in those not tolerating the primary treatment target of 120 to 129 mmHg. The guidelines focus more on frailty of individual rather than chronological age. This new systolic BP treatment target of 120 to 129 represent a paradigm shift from prior European guidelines including 2018 ESC slash ESH hypertension guidelines. The 2021 ESC prevention guidelines and the 2023 ESH hypertension guidelines specifically whereas prior guidelines generally recommend patients be treated to a BP 140 by 90 mmHg in the first instance and only thereafter be considered for treatment to 130 by 80 mmHg. The new 2024 guidelines recommend that most patients be treated to a systolic BP of 120 to 129 mmHg in the first instance. This change is driven by new trial evidence confirming that more intensive BP treatment targets reduce CVD outcomes across a broad spectrum of eligible patients, says Professor McCovey. In part to accommodate this new more intensive systolic BP treatment target range, the 2024 ESC guidelines provide stronger recommendations than prior guidelines for the use of out-of-office BP measurements. The 2024 guidelines also for the first time make recommendations on the use of renal de-innervation for treatment of hypertension. Due to lack of evidence regarding cardiovascular outcomes benefit, the guidelines do not recommend this medical procedure as first-line treatment and nor it is recommended for patients with highly impaired renal function or secondary causes of hypertension. Professor Toyus explains, these evidence-based recommendations provide guidance for clinicians and their patients on the use of this important new technology. However, it must be stressed that this procedure needs to be undertaken in a center where there is expertise and experience. These new ESC guidelines also update dietary advice on sodium and potassium intake and further emphasize the importance of lifestyle modification for patients in the range of different circumstances and stages of CVD and chronic kidney disease. They also highlight the importance of sex and gender differences in hypertension and integrate this throughout the document rather than as a separate section, as in most other guidelines. That's all for now. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.